All right. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll just meet you on the thing. Okay. I wasn't here for uh, that long. I only heard a couple of your claims. Okay. One thing that you said is, um, well, uh, first, I need to know your background. Are you Catholic? Are you? I like beef. What does that have to do with the business? Are you, you're Christian, right? Yeah, I'm Christian, yeah. Well, you know, when you made a claim, you said that Islam, uh, you said that Islam and everyone who says La ilaha Allah is going to go to heaven, which we believe. Of course, uh, we believe in that Islam. But you, I, if you're, if you're a Protestant Christian, you believe that any, if you just, if you believe Jesus died for your sin, then you're completely safe, no matter what you do, even murder. That's false. For Protestants, they don't believe that. My friend, don't tell me, but we don't have something. It's called a Protestant or Catholic. We have the gospel. Show me where the verse says, "If you just believe." And you go to heaven. That's it. Okay, you, you uh, okay. There are things called um, Protestant. You just disagree with that. Don't and tell me Protestant. We don't you care don't here. There's nothing is called a Protestant. There's nothing is called. We follow Jesus. We don't follow Protestant. We don't follow Catholic. We don't follow Pope. We don't follow Bishop. We don't follow a priest. We don't follow a man. We follow Jesus. So, when you say something, Jesus said, "Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will." So you can say as much as you wish. I believe, I say, I, and you can shout, but still you will not go to heaven. Now you're a prophet saying that anyone who says shout, just shout, say, I say shahada, I go to heaven. So what we believe in Islam hmm. is that if you say la ilaha illallah, hmm. uh, anyone who believes in la ilaha illallah hmm. will eventually go to heaven. Why? Some people Why? will spend some time in the, in the, in the fire, Why? in Jahannam. Mm. And some people they'll spend some time in Jahannam. Okay, why? Why if you say why if you say that? So just you say uh, the shahada, you go to heaven. What if you are a hypocrite? If you're a hypocrite, so I mean mm. if you're a munafiq, you're, it is, you're not one Islam. Mm. The Prophet Muhammad said, mm. al -amal wa al He said, that? "Good deeds are based off intention, and you'll be rewarded based off your intention." Okay, then I so want you. I want you. Okay, I want you. I want you, I want you to hold your horses. You just said to me. That uh, 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 Allah, He will judge you by your deeds, correct? By your intention, correct? No, no. Well, I'm. I said to you, yeah. Good deeds are based off intention. Okay. So you'll be. But according according to your intention. prophet, nobody have good deeds. Huh? According to your prophet, all your deed you have is 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 not your deed will take you to Allah or to heaven. So. Isn't not, your prophet? Isn't it your? Is it, okay, hold on, hold on. In Islam. Do you believe that your deed will take you to no, heaven? No, you're making a red herring. Do you believe? Do you believe? This is a red do you believe in Islam that your deed will take you to heaven? Yes or no? No, we don't. The Prophet said no. So, but you just said to me, Allah will judge you by your deeds of your intention. I'm just, no. You ask me, hmm. what if I say la ilaha Allah and I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm telling the truth. Hmm. I'm lying, hmm. basically. Hmm. And I'm saying to, uh, I said to you that the Prophet said everything you do is based off your intention. Okay, I get you. So, so now your intention when when somebody says shahada, his intention to go to heaven. So he's honest. Okay, so now his intention to go to heaven, but he go and he sleep around and he sell drugs and he kill and he rape. So still he will go to heaven according to you. Okay, so this is a this is a different issue. What is called in Islam, but we believe different from Christians that if you harm another person in Islam, mm. that person will get their right on the day of judgment back for what you did to them. But he will go to heaven so anyway. We don't believe God forgives you for that. We but, don't believe. But he will go to heaven. If you, but you will no, go to heaven. If you uh, harm another person, my friend, when is it harm? Kill? Is it a harm? To, is it a harm to steal? Is it a harm to steal? The, the the hadith in front of you. It says, even if you commit, you're even if he's a well. thief, you're poisoning the well. Huh? You asked me to come over here, and I came, and then you're not even letting. You no, know, actually, I asked you. I asked you. I'm gonna be fair there. We are making. A, we are having a conversation. Not one. Not not one person you. talking. I'm I'm not stopping you from talking, my friend. It's a conversation. So I'm I'm going with you. So let you let said if you do you. harm, if you do harm, Allah will take his revenge from him. Okay, no problem. But he will go to heaven, correct? Mm -hmm. He still, uh, he still will go to heaven. I, I have to ask a scholar uh, on whether or not like. Like murder, example for example, murder. Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, Allah says in the Quran that whoever commits murder is going to go to Jahannam forever. So, uh, uh, like, like, la la la. So, like, uh, murder. Mm -hmm. You have to ask a scholar whether or not like murder and stuff like that, mm -hmm. because I know if you, like if you like harm another person, mm -hmm. you're going to be punished for those things 
mm. for uh for the amount of time that like you're it's like going to jail okay you're okay the, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a is a murder is a murder when somebody commit a murder did he commit a murder by his choice or allah he forced him to commit a murder so we believe in father and we also believe in free will my so question my, no father, my question, so my question is very simple my, my question is very simple don't tell me i believe in this and that just to give me the answer it's when somebody true. commit a murder well, when, some, when somebody when somebody commit a murder is that a choice he make or not of course it's his, it's his choice okay so your quran is a lie because the quran say the opposite yeah. that's why i'm trying like uh, i was trying to give you a more nuanced answer no 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 you cannot me. no you cannot here mm -hmm. we go allah he says that all bad things happen to you it, it is allah will nothing happened to you except by the will of allah all the bad things specifically yeah, the Quran says in the Quran that it's not that you have a will, but Allah has a will first. Okay, okay. the bad will. We are talking about the bad one. We are talking about the bad ones. Read with me carefully. All no. the bad things happen in this earth is by Allah will, specifically. Nothing happened to you, but by Allah will, not your will. Read it. Okay. You, you, and Allah also says in the Quran hmm. that when... Uh, well, well, what's it called when, when in Surah Al Fajr, where Allah talks about uh, the man who basically when Allah and takes away from him, He says that my Lord has forsaken me. Allah tells him that this is what you you gave to yourself. So uh, you you are not correct. My friend, I'm showing sure you a verse in the front of you. You are you are you are trying to avoid it. Chapter fifty-seven, no, verse number twenty-two. It. Read it. I'm trying to Chapter it fifty-seven, Please, verse number question. twenty-two. It says nothing bad happened to you in this earth. Nothing had nothing nothing. Happen to you, yeah. but it is the will of Allah. Yeah, of okay. course. So the will of Allah is to kill somebody. So if I let, let me give you an example. Mm. If I were to shoot, choose to shoot you in the head, mm. unless Allah willed that to happen, it would not happen. Mm. Because I can't shoot you unless Allah says. No, Allah this is not. This is not what the verse is saying. The verse is saying oh, that no, all no, bad things said, happen to you. you it is Allah will. Allah will. Okay. Will. Okay. Let me ask you: When Adam commits sin, was it is his will or the will of Allah? So uh, what Adam, okay, Adam says, Adam, I'll tell you exactly what Adam says. Mm. He says, Ya Allah, I have wronged myself mm. and that if you don't forgive me, uh, I'll become amongst the losers. That's what he says in the Quran. Okay, um, this is not the question. I'm asking you, when yeah, Adam commits sin, said. I want to ask a clear answer. When Adam commits sin, it was his sin or Allah forced him to commit sin? Allah, Allah are you saying Allah forced him to commit sin? Yes. Allah gave him free will. Okay, well, it's, you, you are a Allah, uh, Sorry, you are... You are a false Muslim. Here we go. I will show you the hadith of your prophet. And you will see how your prophet explained that Adam is well, a victim. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They okay. asked him, is it Adam's fault whether or not he goes to the, like, because he went to the earth, because he committed sin? And he tells him that, no, Allah wrote for him that he's going to go to the earth. And that, he, that Allah wrote that he was going to do this. No, this is not, this, so this, this, this is not what, what this is mean. not what the hadith is saying. Read with me carefully. Okay. Adam and Musa, they have a debate. Yeah, I know. I remember. And Musa says, "Okay." And Musa says to Adam, "Because of you, we are out of paradise." That's then, exactly what I said. Hold on, hold on. And then Adam he says to him, "Oh, Musa, Allah who favor you, blah blah blah." And then he says to you, "Read carefully with me." This is your Muslim translation. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written for my fate forty years before my creation? So can yeah. we blame Adam for his sin, or we blame Allah? No, what is no 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 no? Oh my! I literally have you right now. Mm. I have you. Okay, good. What did he, what did Moses accuse uh, Adam of? He says it's because of you. you were on we're we're out of paradise, right? Mm. Mm. Yes, literally exactly what I said. It's because of you were out of paradise, mm. and what well, uh, and Adam is saying that it's not my fault we're out of paradise. Mm. Allah wrote for me. That we're gonna go to paradise, no matter what. If Adam did not commit the sin, he would have went to he would have left paradise. Hmm. This is something that no matter what we believe. What is the happen. action? He because said Allah, you blame me for. He Adam, said you blame me for an action. You, you, he said you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate, which means Adam he did an action he did cause him to go out of paradise. What is that action? No, you blame me for an act. Yeah. So now, I'm gonna ask you right now. Well, what did Moses accuse him of? Accuse him, said, accuse him of you, doing, accuse him of, of accuse him of doing, doing, doing an act made him go out of paradise. He did an act, and that act caused him to go of paradise. This is why Adam responds saying, "Do you accuse me of an action which Allah He wrote for me before my creation, forty years before my creation?" So what is wrote for him? The action. What is the action? His action, not the action of Allah. Action of Adam, it's what caused him to go out of paradise. Adam is not, uh, Moses is not asking Adam why he left paradise voluntarily. 
no, that's what he said. All of us, we knew that Adam, he committed sin. I'm sorry, man, but you read this for yourself. You said, it's because of you we're out of paradise. Mm. And Moses said, you blame me for an action that Allah has written in my feet mm. 40 years before my creation. Okay, Allah, he wrote the action for yeah. Allah or, or wrote it for Adam. Allah wrote the action to do for Allah yeah. or the action. The action listen, the action written to be done by Adam or written to be done by Allah. Huh? <laughs> the action you are talking about is written to be done by Allah or to be done by Adam. So, okay, you have to, the, it depends upon which action we're talking about. The action. Don't tell me it depends on what action. We know what action. Adam commits, Adam commits sin. Adam commits sin. Adam commits sin. And Allah, he says to him, get down of it because he commits sin. This is what the Quran says. No, the Quran says because uh, when we believe in Islam, that Adam just did it out of forgiveness. That it wasn't that Allah forgave him immediately because he didn't do it because he wanted to commit a sin. He did because he was forg forgetful. That's what Allah says in the Quran. So Allah, He forgives sin and He kick you out of Him heaven because He, you know. <laughs> oh, no. um, okay. Let us see. Let us see the Quran. Let us see. Everybody will laugh at what you said, my friend. Here we go. This is the Quran. This is the Quran. Chapter two. Read. 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 Chapter two. Chapter two. Chapter two. My friend, you, I will let you respond. Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Read it. Huh? Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Read it. Uh, you have the verse number thirty-eight up. I can't see it. Why? Open your Quran. Huh? No problem. Open your Quran. Chapter okay. two, verse number thirty-six. I see now. But Satan causes them to deflect their from and uh to, and to deflect their from and expel them from the happy state in which they were. And he said, "Fall down onto uh, uh of you, fall onto uh the others. There shall be." F this is talking about iblis. He said to them, all of them, all of them, iblis, iblis, all of them. He says, "Ihbutu." I speak Arabic. I'm an Arab. <laughs> So he said to him, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he, because he commits sin, Allah kick him out. So why you are you lying to me? Now, he did by out of forgiveness. What forgiveness? He, 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 right away, he commits sin. So what if so he said, okay, I, 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 uh, I go down because you commit sin. It's in front of your eyes because shaitan, he calls them to do sin. Allah, he says to them, go down and look how funny you are. You are saying to me, he said that no. to shaitan. Hold on. A second ago, you said to me, a second ago, you said to me, Allah, he's saying that to shaitan, showing us that you are a fake Muslim. You do not even know how to understand the Quran or you are lying to us, hoping that I don't speak Arabic. So here is why you said to me, why why you said to me a second ago, Allah, he said that to shaitan, not to Adam and Eve. A second ago, you said that. Why you said that? He says, we said, fall one of, uh, this is fall down one of you. One, oh, no, what one of you? One of you, a foe onto the other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just right sorry. Uh, okay. I sorry. Mean, okay. okay. So said, Allah, okay. But, so you see, okay. So after Allah, he sent him down, it says, Allah, he received word from God and he forgave him. This is after, after he said to him, get down. Yeah. Why did Allah so, says in the Quran? I'm, I'm going to pull the verse right here. Where okay. The says, verse in the front of us, verse number 37. So Adam was forgiven for his sin after he was out of heaven, not before. Adam received from his Lord of Revelation, uh, uh, relented towards him. Lo, he is relentful, the merciful. Okay, Adam. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you about about the story. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, uh, uh, according to you now, that the action which is written in the Hadith, I want to go yeah. back to, to zero because we, we, you 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 are trying to confuse it. The action here, which is going to be done, which is written forty years before the creation of Adam, that an action Allah should do or Adam should do. Okay. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened mm. before when Allah went to create Adam. Mm. He says, he says to the angels, "This is in the Quran. Let us create a creation that will be that will be successors on the earth." Mm. And then the angels ask Allah, oh, "Oh, are you gonna create something that's gonna cause corruption?" Mm. Allah says, "In the Quran." So Allah tell, uh, created Adam mm. and um, mankind in order for them to be mm. successors on the earth. Mm. Moses says to Adam, "It's because why?" And what? Oh, he, he blames Adam for the action. What action? That what action? The action that we are now on the earth and we left paradise. And then what is the action? What is the action? What the action is? What is the action? That we left paradise. No, no, no. Not this. Is not action. Uh, Adam. He did not. Leave paradise. No, no, no. Okay. Moses. So no, he cannot. He cannot blame Adam for leaving paradise because he did not leave paradise. It's Allah who kicked him out of paradise. Did he leave paradise yeah. willingly? Did, okay. did Adam leave paradise willingly? He like he said, "Hey, Allah, I'm going to go do hiking in Himalaya." He did not. Yeah, that's what, Allah. that's what Allah. That's what the Prophet Muhammad says. Where? That, that Adam Where? Won the, that's why the Prophet Muhammad says that Adam won the argument. 
because Allah wrote for him and that you can't blame Adam for this. This is something that was going to happen. No matter it's what. going to happen. Why? Because this is because he committed a sin, right? Uh, whether or not he committed this and he would have been on earth. Whether or not, but but this what yeah. he this what he said. He said, "Are you blaming me for an action? Who is the one who did the action? It's Adam. No. So the action no, of Adam, no, no. the no, action no, of no, Adam no. is committing sin." No, no, no. Okay, I, okay, no, okay, okay, okay hold, hold on. Let, let, let us let us show everybody how how action. you try to fabricate. Hold on, hold on. If a baby he no. die, where he go? If he, if a baby he die, where he go? An infant, Adam. a Muslim infant. If he die, where he go? Huh? huh? Okay, uh, most scholars say the infants can go to heaven. They go to heaven. Yeah, the, most scholars say that. Most scholars. What does that mean? Yeah, you Muslims are confused. If a baby dies, mm. he will. Go, he'll. Um, what happens to him mm. is on the day of judgment. He's gonna say, "Ya Allah, you took me away from my parents on the earth. Ya Allah, let me be with them in Jannah." And if they are believing, mm. he'll, he'll. If they are believing, but why? Why, why he will God, not go to heaven? He I mean, he is a. He is a baby. Why he will not if, go to heaven? Why he will not go to heaven? What Allah? This guy, he don't talk. This, this kid is, is a one day old. He will say, Allah, forgive me. And to, what is that? What? He's so a baby. You, He's a baby child. You, he just you, He is born yesterday. He died today. Now he will ask Allah in the day of judgment. He says, Allah, let me go to my family. Are you sure? Are you sure? That's nothing. J Jesus in the, in the Quran. Okay, hold on. Well, you're, Jesus, a, you're a prophet, obviously. You're a prophet, obviously. He is not a prophet. And you are the prophet. Here we go. You're a prophet. He says that you are lying to us again. Uh, Aisha, there's a child. He died. Aisha, she said, he is going to be a bird from the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he mm -hmm. says, don't say that for Allah created for those who go to paradise when they are in the lion of their father. So it doesn't mean if he commits sin or not. And Aisha, she made it clear that this child, he commit no sin and no reach the age of committing sin. So the child commits sin yeah. or not, commits sin or not, still Allah, he decide who go to heaven when they are in the lion of their father, the backbone. So your prophet saying it's a destiny. It is not committing sin or not. So you just you just said to me something very funny. You said the child in the heaven and the in the day of uh, judgment, he will ask Allah, please let me go to my family. But I, I thought if you don't commit sin, you go to heaven anyway. Let's no. Let's read the let's read the hadith. Read it. Go he ahead. That, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Right, read it. Allah's messenger. Uh, there is happiness for this child who's uh, who's a bird from the birds of paradise. <laughs> For it committed no sin, nor has he reached the age when he could commit a sin. Hmm. He said, Aisha, peradventure, it, uh, it may be otherwise because God created paradise, hmm. those uh, who are fit for it, hmm. while they are yet in all their loins created uh, for Jahannam. Hmm. There are uh, who are go to Jahannam. He created uh, them for Jahannam. Hmm. Let's go down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So right here, wait, we agree. do you have the heading of the chat of the thing? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because it's a Muslim, it should give you the heading mm. that tells you exactly what it means. Mm. This is the heading. This is a child of a, a Muslim family from Al Ansar. He died, yeah. and Aisha, she asked, she said he would go to heaven. Muhammad, he didn't agree. He said he might go other way. Why? Yeah, so there's more of it. So it says every child is born. The, so it says every child is born in the state of fitrah and the ruling on the uh, the death children of the disbelievers and the Muslims. So this, uh, like I told you, there's a difference of opinion amongst the scholars. That's why I said most scholars say. Listen, listen, don't, don't 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 tell me scholars game now. This is your oh, prophet. Right. The opinion oh. of your prophet is a supremacist when it's come to anyone, right? So you okay. Yeah. So your prophet said it clearly. Your, your prophet said it clearly. It is not committing sin or not. It is Allah decision he made before he created him, correct? Yeah. Okay. Of course. So okay. I mean, so okay. So Allah he decide for this child he might go to hell. Why? Huh? Why Allah so, he might decide for this child to go to hell? He commit no sin. Why he will go to hell? So this is about free will, like I said. Where the free will? The child he died already. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Of, mm. I'll give you exactly what uh what scholar named Imam Ghazali, what he said. Hmm. He said, Al Ghazali is a kafir. Since when Al Ghazali is a person you take him as a Ghazali? Are you sure Al Ghazali you take Al Ghazali? I don't, I, don't, I don't need to believe anything you're saying. You're, you don't believe in Islam. Uh, what, how, how are you going to do takfir on people? I'm not even listening. Okay, to okay, okay, my friend. Al Ghazali told you this that your prophet said this. Your prophet said that as a ch the child, he died. He's dead. There's no other option. Your prophet said that if, if, if uh, Allah will judge you by by what, like, 
uh, as long your mouth is is moving after that that's it nobody no intercession can feed you that's it nobody can help you so as long you're alive until your life is taken away from you okay so after life is taken away from you if there is another chance Okay, for Muslims, so I'll tell you exactly what Imam Ghazali said. There is another no. Don't tell me Al Ghazali. Stop playing games. According no, to you, no, Islam, no, according no, to Islam, no, if there is a chance, no, no, no. if there is a chance after you die, Allah will let you ask for forgiveness. Is there a chance? Huh? After you die, if there is a chance that you might be forgiven by Allah uh, by asking yeah. Allah for forgiveness. If there is a chance, no, Allah can forgive your sins after you die. He he can forgive your sin after you die. Yeah, of course. So if I don't convert to Islam and then I die, and after for I, shirk. huh? For shirk. Except for shirk. Okay. So why this child he will go to hell? Huh? We go back to zero. So why this child he will go to hell? He is a child. He is born of a Muslim family. So why he might go to hell? He did not commit shirk. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why, yeah. What are you saying to me? What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. 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 You. So why the child will go to hell if you commit shirk only Allah will not forgive you this child he commit no shirk So why he might go to hell? Okay, uh, who says he's gonna go to Jahannam? My friend, your prophet Allah said it clearly Allah. that he might go to hell So why yeah. he will go to hell you said to me Allah forgive not those who commit shirk But this is a baby. He did not commit shirk. He don't even speak sure, uh, Can you scroll a little bit down? Mm. Just so I see that's the end of the hadith mm. Here we go <clears throat> yeah, because uh, right. I I really I I do want to stress on this point. Mm. I don't want to. What's it called? Okay. Uh, I don't want to basically go too much in interpretation of hadith because I I haven't said my friend since, stop playing have, games. Uh, stop playing uh, games. What interpretation for the hadith? The question is very simple. You <laughs> said Allah forgive any kind of sin except shirk. So if yeah. you commit sin, even if you commit adultery, you remember you said that to me, you go to heaven still. Okay, so now this is a child. He's born of a Muslim family and your prophet, he says, everyone is born as a Muslim, correct? Yeah. Okay, so he is born as a Muslim and he is born from Ansar. He is born of a Muslim family. Give me the reason for him to make him go to hell. So, okay. So there's two, the, um, these are the two opinions that I know. Of. Hmm. That the one opinion is that they're all, all children that are die, they're just going to go to heaven. Because, and, uh, or in the second opinion okay the first that, opinion hold on the first opinion is against the hadith your prophet saying the opposite he's just he's just a spank <laughs> Aisha for yeah. saying that and you are saying to me first opinion second opinion you Muslim don't respect your prophet by taking the first opinion you took it against what your prophet just said in front of you okay but, uh, you, you right here you, you're making an entire opinion on one hadith These no scholars, okay hold on let, let me get you busted final bust take this okay okay and then let's see how you want to play game now with this one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We will see. We, we will see how you will play. You're not letting me speak. You have a very. What happened? Me, I'm here. Okay. Let us see. I will show you a hadith and let us see how you can play with it. <laughs> so it says, Ibn Kathir said, with regard to children of the believers, there is no dispute amongst the scholars. Al uh, you take Ibn Kathir uh, against your prophet. Shame on you. Uh, Al Hanbali narrated, Imam Ahmed said, there is okay. no dispute. Okay, read, okay, read this hadith for me. Read, read this hadith for me and let everybody laugh at what you said from the beginning to the end. Go ahead, take your time. Right here, okay. Hmm. So uh, here, Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, who is a gigantic scholar of a hadith. No, I'm showing you a hadith in the screen. Read it, and so everybody will love. By the way, Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, who is a gigantic uh, scholar, when I I quote the Muslims hadith, he said they say I don't agree with it. This is Imam Ahmed. It's not from the Sahih. So look how hypocrite the Muslims are. When they want Imam Ahmad is a Sahih, he is a giant uh, Imam. When they want, they make him small like a Mickey Mouse. Now read for me in front of you, please. Read for me the hate wait. in front of you. Oh, wait, wait. What, what are you saying about Imam Ahmad? When you want your Muslims, you make him so small. When you want, you make him giant. Is Imam, is, is, is Imam uh, 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 Ahmad is from the Sahih Hadith? Is uh, the Sahih Hadith? Is his book Sahih? Oh. Is his book is Sahih? 
uh, I don't have the qualifications to make. To uh -huh. A second ago, you call him giant. Now he became a small suddenly. You have a flat tire with you. My friend, stop playing games. Stop playing games. You, you, you do not know what are you talking about, and you are scared to make it, to, to say something is going to be used against you. Read the hate in front of you. What you're doing, all you're saying is like, oh my God, this guy doing something. Oh, ha, ha. My friend, read the hadith, and everybody is laughing. Here we go. All your lies getting busted by your prophet. Read the hadith, please. No, you're. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Why you are scared to read it? What's, what's the problem? Read it. I'm not reading hadith. Why not? Because I'm telling you what's. I'm, I'm telling you exactly what the scholars No, here we go. I don't care for the scholar. Here, you're, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. Your scholars are you, you, you are you, you are you are you are you are lying and you're a prophet. He said your deed will not let you enter heaven. It's what Allah he wrote in the front of you. Read it and stop lying. Yeah, if I don't believe your deeds take you to heaven. Read it. Read it. No, no, no. It's not only what you did, it's not only that, it is the deed which Allah he wrote for you will make you go to heaven. Read it. Yeah, we believe Which that everything you, that ever happened. What do you mean? Day, so okay, so 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 okay, so so what what you are saying to you were saying to us it was a lie. You well, said to you say lie. you said to us we have a free will. We do. Okay, read the hadith. Then here we go. Read the hadith. hadith about what? Read it. It's what in front of us me? about the topic. About the about read, read the hadith about the topic in the front of your eyes. Read it, please. Okay, what well, I was I was reading to you, mm. which is on. Uh, it's right here, Sheikh Muhammad. Uh, no, read the hadith in the screen. I, how am I gonna read this hadith right here? Hmm. We already read it. No, I did not. This is a new one. This is a new disaster. This is a new disaster. I have endless number. Read it. And by Allah, a person amongst you or a man may do deeds of the people of Jahannam till there is only a, a, a cubit. What is a cubit? An arm. A cubit. An arm. Oh, a cuba of an arm beneath, uh, beneath distance between him and the fire. But then the, uh, that writing, which Allah has ordered the angels to write, proceeds and does the deeds of the people in paradise and enter it. And the man uh, may do the deeds of the people of paradise. So there's only a, a cup of two between him and the paradise. Then there in the writing proceeds, he does not uh, does the... Uh, he does the deeds of his people. Now, we have to look at what the the, mufas, the mufasir. <laughs> I mean, you are funny, man. What the what mufassirin? Even this one need mufassirin. Even this one need mufassirin. Need interpretation is so clear. It says a person he making a deed almost he is in the door of the heaven. There's a distance of an arm, and then what Allah wrote for him destiny, destiny. It's so clear. Stop playing games. Shame on you. Shame on me. We have to understand. What is we understand it's so clear. It's so clear. It's destiny. It's not the guy is doing the deed of heaven all his life all his life Okay, and then he's almost in the door of the heaven Which one which one which one will proceed? Your deed all down which one will proceed shut up you idiot liar. I don't talk to kids Get lost. I Have no respect for you You see I was patient with you to the end but that's it. This is extreme lying. There's no point of speaking to a liar. The story in the front of us is so clear. You try to escape the first one, the second one, the third one, even this one. <laughs> we need to read the, the tafsir. Even this one need tafsir. It's so clear. The guy is doing deeds. And Allah, he have, have deeds. The deeds which Allah, he wrote for you, as a destiny, it is what will decide where you go. Do you see how they lie? No shame. And this will prove Islam to be stupid. Adam, he commit no sin. It was the sin of Allah. A child, he commit no sin. Not only that, Muhammad, he says, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. <laughs> So look how they fabricate and they try to get away with everything because Islam is a stupid religion. You see, I hang up on you because that's it. There's no need. I'm just wasting my time. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. But a liar is a liar. They don't try. Are you, are you expecting this, this liar to say, I agree with you? No way. But the story, and I don't care if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu, the story in front of us is so clear. The person is doing the deeds of hellfire. Tell there is 
a cubit, an arm between him and fire. He's almost there. Okay, so all his life is doing the deed of fire. What is the deed of fire? He don't kill Christians. He don't kill Jews. He don't kill Hindus. He's a bad Muslim. And then what Allah wrote for him, that is his destiny. Proceed. And he does the deeds which Allah, that is the action Adam was talking about, you liar. That is the action. He says to him, do you blame me for the action which Allah he wrote for me? When we showed you the, the, the hadith about Adam, Adam saying, do you blame me for an action written? Allah wrote for me. Which, which I should do, not only, not only it's an action, which I should do. Let me show you, because the hadith, your prophet, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He made it clear that he should do. It's an action he should do. Who he should do? Adam. Look how many times the story is repeated. Repeated. Hmm? Guys, read this one. Look at this one. Just to show him how he was lying. Do you play me for doing a deed? which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me. Do you see it, guys? He did the deed. Adam did the deed. This is not about Allah. He decided for Adam to go to heaven or not to be in heaven. Adam, he did the deed. And this is why we are debating. And by the way, how Moses met Adam? I mean, I thought they are dead, both of them. <clears throat> and even your prophet, he says, the first one to be resurrected, it was going to be him. <clears throat> Why are you away? What you want to lie more? You're just running away. You okay. never made a single. You never let me make a single point. No, there's no. What simple? Here we go. Okay. Does it say here? Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do? Okay. No. Well, let me ask you a question now. Do we make a judgment in Islam by one single hadith? Well, so why your prophet is hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care a single hadith, two hadith, bring all the hadith you want. Hear your prophet when he said. Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do? What is the deed Adam should do written to by Allah for him 40 years before his creation? Um, before his creation, that he okay, Allah wrote down all of his Allah knew all of his actions. No, no, this is not the question. Now, don't uh, don't play games. No, no, what, no, is what is the deed? What is the deed Adam is talking about? What is the deed? What is the deed? Hassan, what is the deed Adam and Moses talking about? Which Adam he says to Moses, Do you blame me for a deed which Allah written for me before he created me 40 years before oh, creation? Yeah, we read, you read the hadith. Do you blame me for for you blame me for deeds? Wait, let's go back to the thing, go back to it. <coughs> Okay. Do you, uh, yeah, yeah, here's it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Do you blame me for for doing a deed which Allah had declared that I should do 40 years before He created me? Hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. So in Islam, like I uh, like I said to you that uh, Moses he says to Adam, uh, "You deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise." So he's blaming him from leaving because of what you did. We're, we left paradise. And thank you. All your thank you. Finally, yeah. he said, because of what you did, you just yeah. said it before you deny it. Before you deny it, you said it was the plan yeah. of Allah, etc. Now, Adam, yeah. he confirmed what Musa he said. He said to him, do you blame me for a deed well, which no, Allah no, had decreed? Not about, not about a hide up and just like pick and choose everything I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. Are you going to be the one of the Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so Moses is saying, why are you not letting us go? Why? Because of you, we're not in paradise. And Adam's saying to him that it has been written before I was born that this is going to happen. How are you going to blame me for it? You can't blame me. And then uh, the Prophet Harrison says, says that he won the argument. He won. Adam is right. Okay. How he won? That this deed, the deed because he did, the he deed, the deed, the deed he did to make him go out of paradise, it was decreed, correct? Okay, Wait, uh, what I, is the what is the deed? Sin. And we don't believe he's what we what we did what we believe he did is that he, he ate an apple because he was forgetful. Is that sin or not? 
uh, I, I have to. Uh, I have but, to but, 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 and look how you change to, all your statement. In the beginning, you said to me, "No, this is not about the sin of Adam." You, you refused that. You can argue about what I said before. No, you refuse. You refuse, and now, now you put yourself in trouble. So you admitted that this is about the sin of Adam. And the sin of Adam is not the sin of Adam. It's Allah's sin because you just you just admitted that Allah He decreed to Adam to eat the apple. Yeah. Okay. So why Adam? Why Adam is a sinner? Then he is not sinner. Why Allah He make him eat the apple? How stupid this guy is! I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy he admitted that Allah He made Adam eat the apple, and because he ate the apple, Allah He made him. He, he need to ask Allah for forgiveness. Okay, hold on. So Adam, he asked Allah for for. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend, hold on. Adam, he asked Allah for forgiveness. Why? Because he ate the apple. But you just said Allah, he forced him to eat the apple. So why Adam need to ask Allah for forgiveness? Allah didn't. Adam chose to eat the apple. What do you mean chose? A second ago, you told me Allah, he forced him. A second ago, just a second ago, it's recorded. Did I say that? Did I say that? You said that. Yes. No, I said Allah wrote for him to eat You said Allah made him eat the apple. What's wrong with you? And this is what the hadith is saying. Do you blame me for doing a deed? I said to you, what is the deed he did? I said to you, what the I said to you, what the deed you did? Did you explain to me? You says he ate the apple. I said to you, why Allah did Allah make him eat the apple? He said yes. So Allah made him eat the apple, and this is what decreed to him. What I'm trying to explain to you is how we understand free will. What free will? What is the free will here? What is the free will here? Okay, okay. Now you're gonna ask me a question. You ask me where's the free will? Can I answer that? <laughs> okay, where is the free will if Allah He forced Adam to eat the apple? Okay. Okay. So what we say in Islam hmm. is that one that uh, how we how we believe in Islam how free will works is that Allah answer is only about Adam, Adam now. Then, then you tell me about Islam. Islam. No, answer me about Islam. Adam. Don't, don't no no don't don't, scared, don't get don't take me to the football scared, stadium and say let us let us follow the ball. No 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 we will not follow the ball. Answer the question. How Allah forced Adam to make to eat the the, the apple and why? Okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna do you wanna let me answer the way I want to be answered, hmm. or do you want me to answer but the way you topic. want to answer? I want to answer about this, how he made him and why he made him eat the apple. Okay, so I'm gonna answer the way I want to answer. Okay, you have to answer as we showed you in here. You to talk about different thing. Well, I'm trying to explain. Talk about people. Adam. Talk about Adam, and then you can explain. No problem. Answer. Did, did Allah did Allah make Adam eat the apple? Yes or no? Yes and no. Yeah, yes and no. <laughs> Transgender. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I the Abdul, don't play games. The hadith is so clear. It says Allah He decreed for him to do it. Okay. Forty no, years. Do Adam have, have, have a choice? Answer. Are you are you are, are you saying are you saying are you saying are you saying your are you saying your prophet is lying? Are you saying are you saying your prophet? Are you saying listen? Listen. And you get one hadith and you're cherry picking everything. Well, I no, I showed you tons of hadith, not only one. You are a liar. I showed you at least five hadith. Now I'm asking you here what Allah He decreed to hold on one by one, Abdul. One by one, one by one. What Allah decreed to Adam to do? What Allah decreed to Adam to do? Can you tell me, please? What Allah He decreed for him to do? What He decreed for him to do? Hmm. Well, Allah says, uh, it says in the Quran that everything that has ever happened. This is another question. This is another question. This is not the question. This is not the question. What Allah decreed to Adam to do? What Adam he meant here when he says, Do you blame me for something Allah he decreed to me to do? The deed to decree. What is the deed he decreed to do to him or to, to he have to do according to, to the hadith? So, in this context of this hadith, hmm. we're talking about him. Hmm. Uh, uh, him going to earth because he, because this of is a deed that, because of the eating uh, the fruit. This is the deed, you liar. You are the one who said to me he ate the apple a second ago. I we don't believe it's an apple. Who says it's an apple? You guys believe it's an apple. What? So what he who ate? What what he ate? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The the fruits in Jannah, the fruits in heaven are not like here. Huh? What is it? What is in the heaven and Allah? There's watermelon in the in the tree. What? What? It says there a, a shajara. It says, "Don't get it close from the tree." Correct. Where are you talking about? Where? Chapter this two, chapter two, verse number thirty-five. Don't oh, eat from this tree. Is it a tree? Is it a tree? Is that a tree in the heaven? Yes or no? Is it a tree? Is it a tree? It's 
It is, but it's not like our trees. Uh -huh. Okay, who cares? No problem. So when Adam he ate from the tree, let's say it's a tomato, no problem. So when Adam he ate from that tree, is that what Allah decree for him, or it was his choice? Huh? Huh? Both. <laughs> well, can you let me explain now? Get or lost. No, I don't want to explain. Get lost. You got yourself busted already. Both. <laughs> it's both whether it's both. Allah decreed for him and Allah and Adam agree. <laughs> In the hadith just say, Do you blame me, you idiot? Which means you cannot blame me. Blame Allah. It's in the front of you. Stop lying. Shame on you. Moses is blaming Adam. Adam saying, Don't blame me, blame Allah. How you say both, you liar. The hadith about where you do the you do the deeds of hellfire and then you go to to, to the opposite direction is so clear. Still you try to get away with it. It is the destiny, and this is why Islam is the most stupid religion. Because why and I believe in Allah then. Anyway, what Allah wrote for me, wrote, wrote for me. Here we go. This poor guy, he do the deed of hellfire all his life. And by Allah, Muhammad is very serious. He swear. A person among you, he may do the deeds of hellfire. Almost he's there in the door. And then what Allah wrote for him, his destiny, take over. So you convert to Islam, you don't convert to Islam, you pray, you don't pray, who care? At the end of the day, what Allah wrote for you will proceed. And that will decide where he will go. And then Muhammad continues saying, and he does the deed of people of paradise and he entered it. Lucky guy. Huh? He was spending all his life doing the deed of hellfire. Look at, look at the unjust, non-justice. And then a man who do the deeds of people of paradise, still there is only a cupid, the poor guy. The poor guy, he joined ISIS, Al-Qaeda. He do suicide bombing. He cut his private part for the sake of Allah. And then, He's almost in the door of heaven, and then what royal him by Allah will take over. Proceed, and he go to hellfire. What a stupid cult! What a stupid cult! <clears throat> Do you see how they try? And he admitted, he says, Allah made him eat. <laughs> Allah made him <laughs> eat, the, eat from the eat the apple, eat the tree. <laughs> and brother, this is you what you believe. It's not the apple. Where is the apple? Well, well, apple? It's not apple. It's what? And who cares if it's an apple or not? It's about disobeying God. The story there in the Bible is not really about an apple. Do God, he cares if you eat an apple. Eat an apple, eat ten apples. I mean, that God will be very cheap if it's about an apple. It's about disobeying Him. This is not about an apple. <clears throat> anyway, this is how the Muslims always they try to fool you, and you saw today and a great example of how they try to deceive. They play games. They, tr they do their best to avoid answering any question even though it's so clear and then at the end even though he admitted already he says Allah he made him do it he said that the tr it's recorded you can go Allah he made him do it and after he said that when I start squeezing hard he took it back did I say that you you said that you said Allah he made him eat from the from the tree too you said that it's recorded did I say that it looked like his uh, his tongue is working by its own he hired a tongue from different country gamers liars and we are here to get you busted anyway guys uh, I just received another message from Brother David.
and look like maybe we can do it uh, I will join them with Sam Shamu brother Sam Shamu in Friday and supposedly this will be 8 p.m. so people in Indonesia they can join us that's a perfect time for Indonesia actually I choose a Friday so those who live in Asia they can uh, they can join us all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here don't forget to download the video immediately and uh, uh, always when a video is gone from my channel this is the easiest way to find it search for the same title post it in YouTube for the last 24 hours you go to filter you copy the title you go to filter you you know you go to filter you choose today last 24 hours and search and then you will find a bunch of good guys are downloaded the videos and sharing it in their channels and maybe it's good idea to subscribe to their channels too so always you will be updated or you can go to patreon my page there and you will find the last video because i update the link before i delete my link i update the link there all right so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and with my love to all people in asia india philippine and for sure uh, indonesia 